How do you prepare for a 640 kilometer bike ride? Well, the truth is, I don't know. Of course, I've never done it before, but we're gonna give it a go. Live Strava segments. <laughs> really pain in here. <laughs> so I did that something like a minute slower than I did yesterday. Anyway, onward. So Whilst I might never have cycled 640 kilometres in one ride, I did do the Tuscany Trail in May, whatever that is, two and a half months ago. And the approach that I used to prepare for that, to train for that, uh, was structured training, quite simply. Uh, watching videos about endurance cycling, buzz along. Cherry, she's great. I bought a book as well about ultra cycling by Stefan Voss. That was a great help. And so, basically, uh, I'm cutting it down into a number of blocks. The first block is base training. I'll probably do that for four or five weeks. Then you get a rest week, 10 days thereabouts. Uh, then you do specialized training which in this case is about the amount of time in the saddle, long rides. Then a rest. Can't rest now though. So then what I've done is started to break the ride down. I mean, if you've never ridden a 640k ride, I mean that's sort of way you tend to start, isn't it? 640 kilometers. Put it in miles, whatever that is in miles. It's a long way. But actually, what it boils down to is time in the saddle. That's the key thing about being comfortable about riding your bike, being in the saddle for 12, 14 hours. If you can crack that, you can crack any distance. That's what I found at the Tuscany Trail anyway. Uh, I was just really comfortable on my bike. Physically knackered, but no problem at all with being in the saddle for that amount of time. So that's the specialist training. If you watched the last video I put out, you might recognise some of this scenery. It's the ride I did on my e-bike uh, last Sunday on the way to my weekly massage. So the only difference this week is that I'm on the Lapierre Zellius 9. No, uh, no assist. I'll tell you what, I bet I've done it quicker <laughs> this week than I did last. Uh, I love this bike, I mean, I love all my bikes actually, but wow, each one of them just has a little something special. This Lapierre is a beast, like a Formula One car. Better go. This is, well, on this particular ride. Uh, this is when you know you've earned your reward, as it were. Here we are in the spa centre. Uh, gonna get ready for my massage now. Weekly treat completed. What a wonderful massage Xenia does give, I tell you. Um, so, let me just talk about base training. Um, when I did the Tuscany Trail, Strava had my fitness score at just over 70. I checked it this morning, it's 31. I don't really know what that means, but uh, obviously the scale of difference between those two numbers is fairly obvious. So the first four or five weeks of the 10 weeks 
I've got before my big ride, I will concentrate on my base fitness. That's a lot of zone two riding, which round here is super hard. Uh, and also uh, interval training. So basically that's pushing your heart rate up high for short periods of time, hit training, high intensity, that sort of stuff. Um, just working on my fitness. Three rides a week is what I'm aiming at. Um, and on the island of Bratch, the difficulty, the challenge, is trying to stop in zone two, which is frankly nearly impossible. It's just so hilly. So I've got a 17 and a half kilometer ride back now, and it's over 300 meters of climbing. Uh, anyway, here we go. I'm not complaining. Brutal. Uh, 3.1 kilometer climb, and the last, I don't know, seven, eight hundred meters, six hundred meters, uh, topping out a smidgen less than 12%. And I haven't ridden my uh, Lapierre enough, to be honest with you. I did a lot of riding on it last year, but because of the Tuscany Trail, I spent most of my time getting to do my Kona Row. Uh, which has a Shimano Sora group set. Uh, here I'm on a DI2 and uh, the climbing difference is amazing. So it's not much good for zone two, but it's bloody marvellous for strength training. <laughs> there we go, then another two climbs. Uh, 10, 11 kilometers to go, I guess. Part of the new road work investment here. Fantastic conditions these roads, but I need to get both hands on the handlebar because this is another steep one. This is the ancient port of Milna. This is pretty much what we call home during the summer months. Established by the Romans and I believe gets its name from uh, the Italian word mille, meaning a thousand, because the Romans believed you could get a thousand boats in here. Heart rate zone, 2.2. Seems as good a place as any to sign off for this video. Uh, I've got a couple of kilometres to go to the end of my ride. The final climb, which is pretty tough actually. Um, so how do you prepare for a 640k ride? Break it down into the elements that are important. As I say, that's endurance. That's basically your ability to spend time in the saddle. There's a little caveat to that as well, and that is I want to increase my average speed, certainly against what I did on the Tuscany Trail, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue because this is going to be all tarmac uh, as opposed to gravel, so uh, those are two issues that I want to deal with. And in terms of the uh, training, then structured training, basically base training, four, five, maybe six weeks. I haven't done an exact plan as yet, but I will get down to doing that. 
So first is base training, that's kind of zone two. Bit of strength training, hit sessions every week for sure, getting the heart rate up, etc. Uh, then a period of rest, maybe about a week to 10 days. Then specific training, so I'll be out on two or three or four really long rides. Uh, then a rest before uh, the actual event itself. And then go for it. Um, let's see how it goes, eh? Ciao.